position you are right there. Here we go. Good morning. Good afternoon. And good evening. And wherever you find yourself. In this big, beautiful world of ours. Hello, everybody. I'm Jeffrey Richards, and this is... I'm Steven Estelle with RepScan 3D. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is vlog number three in the continuation of the development of, this, of the Sea Swan. Two-place flying boat, true amphibian in the light sport aircraft category. All right, so... Um, uh, Steve's done a lot of work and uh, we finally got some really good illustrations here on the computer and we're going to go over quickly some of the design elements, the design cues of the Sea Swan. Alrighty, uh, can you bring that up, you know, make it a little bit larger? Yeah. Okay, so what we got here is we, have, we now have the placement of the sponsons and the strake. So uh, everybody knows, in, 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 this is very important, here's the sponson and here's the strake. Now the sponson provides stability on the water and also the main landing gear is going to be located in the sponson as well and it will actually retract into the top of the sponson. We've got something called the 270 sponson arch and we'll talk about that later. Also you can see that Steve has managed to put the strakes in line. We're going to do a little bit of design refinements on that as well. And you can see the bend in the wing here. This is where the wing's going to fold. This is the wing fold not to exceed 8 feet 6 inches, which makes it rotable. Oh, yeah, here's the wing fold. He's done a great job on the wing fold. As you can see, it's a uh, Grumman-style wing fold with the wings coming directly back and not over the top. So uh, that's uh, really an exciting feature. Um, if you can show the uh, the wings extended, and let's see. What the, I'm going to show the alignment of the sponsons and the wing trailing edge. Now we got a lot of symmetry going on with this airplane. I'd like to show that for a minute. You see the wings uh, where they fold. That's eight feet six inches. The length of the sponson. We're going to modify that later. The the length of the sponson doesn't exceed uh, six feet. Uh, excuse me, eight feet six inches, and also the horizontal stabilizer length or the length is 8 feet 6 inches. So we have a lot of symmetry there as well. Also, we saw our side view. <coughs> yeah, so you'll see right here the trailing edge of the wing matches the trailing edge of the sponson that matches the step or the break in the hull. So this is very important. We have a lot of symmetry going on. Now, uh, we talk about the step here in the hull. Any any body uh, or surface sliding along the water always has a tendency to have a suction force, so you have to have this thing called a step in it right here. That's very important. That breaks up that suction force and, and, and causes vortices, and then uh, you, can, you can get off the water. If you ever talk to a flying boat or a seaplane pilot, they always talk about getting on the step. Okay, so these are some of the major uh, design cues that we've had and we're continuing on with the development and Steve's doing a fantastic job. This is very exciting. We're doing some more refinements and uh, from now on, we're from the, for, for, for the next uh, month or so, we're going to do two vlogs per week on Thursday and Friday to accelerate the development process a little bit. So uh, we'll be putting that to uh, we'll be putting that together um, uh, next week. Uh, so stay tuned for the next vlog, which will be our fourth in the series. And until that time, thank, thank you, you for your time. It's all right, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, that was good. So uh, that's number 